Having got kind of fed up with my iPad's lack of memory, having to delete everything just to get the video files on that I wanted, I started investigating devices that I could use with it to save me having to upgrade my tablet completely. There are some great budget tablets that would probably knock the socks off this iPad mini, but I didn't want to spend even that. So I had a look at the SanDisk, I expand the Leaf, iBridge, the Hutu Tripmates, the Rav Power File Hub, and actually while I was just randomly shopping in Tesco, I came across this. It's the SanDisk Connect wireless stick, and this 64 gig model was down to 36 pounds. Way cheaper per gigabyte than the iBridge. Not as cheap as the Tripmate Nano, but of course this has memory. So I thought, let's check it out. I gave it a Google, read some reviews, and bought it on the spot. As you can see, I haven't opened it yet. So this could be very interesting. We're gonna check it out and see how we get on. So let's crack it open. Before we take a look at the actual item, just look at what it explains to you there. You can download an app. Now this is good for iOS devices, Android devices, and apparently your Amazon devices too. You simply plug it in, upload your content to the stick, and then access your content. There's a little tiny manual in here, I believe. A quick start guide. Give that a pause if you wanna have a look, just in case yours is missing it. Really, that's the only bit that's relevant in English. Apologies if you want to see the other languages. So there you go, plug it into a computer or a USB adapter to charge it up. That can take two hours. Download and install the app, turn it on, connect to the network and launch the app. Initial thoughts, the actual stick itself is nice. Decent little package there. Little hole for a lanyard. Nothing on that side. A nice cap to protect the USB. A power switch. And that is apparently everything. That's a nice unit. Not a lot to write home about there really. Press the button. Light comes on, and there it is flashing away. Let's plug it into the computer. So we get the stick, plug it into the USB, and up will pop a folder that says untitled, and it will pop open with getting started guides. If you open the English one, it'll explain pretty much what we saw in the packaging. Plug it in, give it two hours to charge up, download the app, turn it on with the on button on the side. Here it explains what the LED status indicators refer to. When it's on, it will be blinking white. When it's transferring over Wi-Fi, white rapid blinking. When the battery is charging, solid amber light. Low battery warning, red blinking. Firmware update, color cycling. Connect to Wi-Fi network and launch the app. Very simple. There's a folder for music, which comes with examples, photos, also with examples and videos with one video. We just take the videos we want. In this case, I have a whole folder. Pass them across. Windows style, something you clearly can't do with iTunes, which is very annoying. Let that load up. As for the app, go to App Store, we'll get that one, install, and that's gonna download. So we'll let that download too. So to set it up, go to settings, Wi-Fi, and making sure that this light is flashing. If it's not, hit the power on button. If I've got that right. And you'll see SanDisk Connect 
So we'll press that and see what happens. That appears to now be connected. So let's check out the app. Sandisk Connect. Success, very good. So gives you a bit of blurb, free up space by easily transferring your photos and videos to the drive. Load up some videos and watch them on the go, which is what we're planning to do. Stream your videos from the drive to three devices at the same time. So potentially to this iPad, to this iPhone and somewhere else. Anyway, get started. Right, so menu at the top, files from the drive here, add from the camera roll here. Not sure if it has a backup function yet, but let's just see the prime reason for me getting this. Okay, so you can still use... So that's nice and simple. Pause. Fast forward as normal. Quality looks great. And nice and simple. Here's the one that come with it. So the play and pause button is quite simple at the bottom. Quite small, but not a big deal. The video that you have on this can be saved to your download, saved to your camera roll. So then it's off the stick or copied from the stick rather. Nice little feature. Music also. All the controls are a little bit bigger. The getting started guides so that will show you that you can look at PDFs. You can zoom in on them too. You can move around them if they're more than one page. Camera roll backup, my downloads. So that'll be where whatever you've downloaded off the stick, that'll be where it saves if you haven't hit. Oh, new firmware is ready to update. When ready, turn off and then turn on the connect drive. You can do a camera roll auto backup, delete from iPad after backup and destination so you can actually have a new folder if you want or have it land where you want so we'll press auto backup we'll give it access to everything for now at the bottom here you'll notice drive battery remaining iPad space remaining 8% and drive space remaining so that's pretty cool it's letting me know at the bottom that it's backing up 48 items, 13 or 48 at the moment. So I'll let that do its thing. While it's doing that, how I fare connecting to this device at the same time. Will it allow it? Clearly there's no password set up on this at the moment. So that's something worth looking at. We've connected. It's happy. It's sending me through the blurb and it's telling me it needs an update. Again, the videos, dead simple. And you're straight in, which is perfect, it's exactly what I want. This video is playing at the same time as this video, all off this stick, separately. So that's nice. It has a little option, layout. So you can have it ascending, descending, alphabetical, date, added, file size or file type. So that's really my first look at the SanDisk Connect. Simple, effective, and barely cost me anything considering the sale price of £36 at Tesco for the 64 gig model. All being well, that will free me from any problems that I've been experiencing thanks to my lackluster iPad mini 
and Apple's decision to not give us a micro SD slot. It no longer matters. SanDisk have saved the day.